process by way of our principle, so that principle is impossible to be able to put it on the screen. Besides, he's grateful to receive the appointment and looks forward to getting acquainted with the position. Well, I'm very pleased that the Prime Minister has seen, has seen um, the confidence that he can place in me in appointment to that position. I'm very pleased about it and I'm, I'm resolved to do the best I can as far as um, any benefits that Antigua and Barbuda can derive from a relationship with Venezuela. I familiarize myself thoroughly with the PDV Carib um, Agreement. Um, I know we are looking at, at improving that relationship and I'll be doing that first. That's the first thing I'll be, be looking at. Um, I'll talk to the local ambassador here and see what other areas we can explore. Um, because I'm involved in Mount St. John's, my, one of my primary focuses will be an issue on health and what areas in health they can assist us in. Commenced our diplomatic relations with the United States of Mexico in 1984. And as I'm sure you may be aware, a number of students were afforded scholarships to study in Mexico. As I understand it from the individuals in the Foreign Affairs Ministry, there are other areas of cooperation that we will be embarking on. I think there are areas concerning the reef delimitation and recovery of sea sand and more importantly a housing project. I take this responsibility very seriously and I understand what my role is as an ambassador to attract investments to Antigua and Barbuda and to ensure that whatever areas of cooperation would have existed before are strengthened as I would have said before and enhanced. <laughs>